Experimental design is vital if you want to get interpretable and usable results. Fios Genomics can assist with experimental design given the opportunity. When designing your experiment, here's what to avoid. Probably the most common mistake we see is not doing enough replication. When it comes to statistics, you need to have multiple examples to identify when there's a trend, when there's a pattern, when there's a difference. And without replication, you, it's difficult to do that. One of the key things, particularly when generating continuous data, is that experiments are done within a single batch. People perhaps do all treatment samples on one day and all control samples on the next day. And that means that if there's differences between those two days, we can't separate that from the treatment and control effects. Despite these common problems, results can still be extracted. We can help randomize data to avoid batch effects. One thing we often do is not just randomize, but ensure that there are no associations between technical factors and any biological factors of interest. Good experiment design will save you time and money. Here's how to get it right first time. These are the things you really must do when designing an experiment. Pick the right platform, it's the first one, make sure that you're able to detect the things that you're looking for. Run the samples in a way so that avoid any associations between technical factors and the biological uh, groups. So for instance, randomization where you can. If you can't randomize, make sure that you have a structure in the data that enables you to separate out the technical and the biological factors. The important thing is about what do you want to know and design the experiment to answer that specific question. If you come to FIAS Genomics at the start of a project, we help lower the risks by ensuring that we do our best job of generating the right output.